So, hi guys, we are back and we are on the way to the water once again. This time I am not bringing my dad, he has to work. Some stuff that some people do. So I brought some good friends of mine and this time we're gonna see if um, we can uh, get there in time and, and get some big perch. Uh, the water is getting quite warm in the Netherlands at the moment, uh, so we are in a hurry. But we hope we can find some good fish and then just have, have a great time and enjoy ourselves. So we're just gonna get in the car and get going. So uh, we'll see you guys when we are there. It's raining, it's bad weather, we caught a decent pike and now we went perch fishing in the heavy rain, we are completely soaked, but look, look at this fish. Forty-eight centimeters, but look at this belly, <laughs> look at this belly. So we just made it in, it's a quarter past one, uh, we drove down here 13 hours and then we just went fishing for some pikes and some perch in complete rain and stormy weather but we made it in now and we caught some decent pikes and one big perch so we're gonna go check in at our place we're staying, anywhere fishing lodge and then we're gonna go perch fishing in the evening and maybe, maybe do some pike fishing, maybe celebrate new personal best, maybe, 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 Yes. we'll see you on the water. So good morning, it's a brand new day. Uh, we slipped a little bit in because we were up for 40 hours yesterday to do all the driving and then we just went fishing like madmen. But it was it was, it was worth it. Uh, today we're gonna go perch fishing once again. Uh, I think we're gonna go to another big lake down here in the Netherlands because I think that the fish that Dad and I found last week uh, has moved a lot because they were quite deep. And I think they might be shallow now. So we're gonna do another lake and hopefully find the big perch shallow. Two, maybe three meters of water. Uh, we're gonna fish them really slow, I think, because we wanna really focus on these few but really big fish. So uh, we're gonna fish the uh, Kalatarik from the start, and some of us is gonna fish with a standard jig head as well. That's what we had most success on. Uh, we didn't really find the fish or catch the fish uh, with hard baits or anything like that. So we're gonna fish really, really slow and focus on some small spots with, uh, with some rocky areas and hopefully find one big fish. <laughs> Once again, it's another day here in the Netherlands. Uh, we did, we did, we did decent yesterday. We caught 
two perch, one uh, 40 centimeter fish, and then we caught that one really, really, really big fish. So that was great. The wind is really crazy still, so we can only fish a few sheltered spots. Uh, so unfortunately, we can't fish the spots that I caught the big fish last year. But we're gonna do the same tactics as we did yesterday because we caught that really big fish. We didn't find the numbers, but it doesn't matter if you can find these really, really monsters. So hopefully we can do the same again. Uh, the fish yesterday actually was caught on the shit. Watch out. Was caught on the uh, chatties. Slim in the headlight color. Uh, so maybe we're gonna fish that bait again today. I think I'm still gonna stick to the Carolina because I really think that the slow fishing is going to be the key to success, so we're going to see what today brings. Fifteen and a half centimeters, just about three kilos. Look at these fat meatballs. Guys, we're just in the bottom of the boat because it's windy, so a lot of wind noise on the on the microphone. But let's call this decent perch, 43 centimeters. But we're still looking for one last really big one. But she really hammered the bus bite. Fishing has has been really really slow, so we've been fishing slow, slow, slow on the bottom uh, with some jigs. But I just tried the bus bite to see if uh, we can get one to come and strike. But uh, we're gonna dump it. Bull T is 12 and, a half, 12 and a half centimeters. Really good for pelagic fishing when you need to fish the car. We're actually perch fishing, but 
we couldn't help ourselves when we found a lot of sanders so i think we caught like 10 sanders in like an hour now it's crazy they are really on the move and still really really fat before spawning so we're gonna we're gonna let her go before she poops all over me what do you have there? So we've been perched and sander fishing all day long from early in the morning to uh, around half past six, half seven o'clock. Then we went home, eat some food and now it's uh, quarter past ten and we're gonna go for some pike fishing. Uh, actually most of the pikes uh, have already gone to do some spawning but we have an idea and I think I saw some really 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 monster pikes uh, close to the shallow. So uh, we go out at night, me and Alexander. He just went to, went to sleep, he's a tired boy, and then we're gonna see if uh, we can find a big one. So hopefully, I'll see you guys next with a big, big pike. So, we are back. Uh, I, I told you we would hopefully see you with a really big pike, and uh, we did not succeed at all. Uh, when we came out at night, instead of daytime, we saw no fish at all. Uh, the key to finding these big pikes for us when the water's this warm was finding the bream. And daytime, the bream was like four or five meters. In big big schools and the pike were on the outsides of it uh, but in the nighttime all the fish were gone so we didn't see we didn't see anything at all so we fished a couple of hours in the really really bad weather and then now we're home and we're gonna hit 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 to bed and then tomorrow i think we're just gonna have a day where we stay home and get some sleep and recover and we need to enjoy ourselves and celebrate the fish the big fish a new personal best we already caught and then Friday, I think maybe we want to go out. It's gonna be absolute crazy weather, 20 miles, 20 miles per hour winds and rain all day long. But I think we're gonna go out and give it a try, anyways. So I'll just see you in the morning. Let's go. So. Good morning guys, once again. Today is Friday, day number six, something. Uh, it's really, really, really bad weather, but I think we're gonna go fishing anyway because we can't sit still and it's, it's the last day of the season. So we're just gonna fish really close to shore and just gonna see what today brings, just have some fun. Luckily the sander fishing, we had really, really good sander fishing a couple of days ago, uh, close, close to shore. So I think we're gonna try those spots and then just have fun, maybe catch a perch, maybe catch a pike. Not take it, take it too serious or hardcore, just have fun in the rain and wind and see what today brings. Hi guys, it's really bad weather today, so I'm in the bottom of the boat, so you guys can hear me. Uh, we were doing some pelagic fishing, which were, which were really, really tough, and then we wanted to find some perch. So we actually just threw our crankbait behind the boat while searching this eddy with the perspective mode. And then we caught a, a decent perch on 43, 44 centimeters. But it's really windy, so when we're gonna show you, you can't hear anything. But let's take a look. So, hi guys, it's the last day of the season in the Netherlands and the weather is absolutely shit. Everybody in the Netherlands, in, in the Netherlands right now know that it's, 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 it's crap. But the last thing I want to do before we go home to dry is to show you a little how we are finding the fish that we are catching. We are not catching very many fish, but we are really looking to, to find these really, really big fish. And the key for us has really been this right here. This is the uh, Garmin Livescope transducer set in the perspective mode. Uh, which means instead of having a very narrow sight where you can see very deep, you just tilt it so you can see very wide but only shallow, like four, four and a half meters. But for our shallow fishing and for perch fishing, it is amazing. 
the way we've been using it, we have been setting it to looking like 20, 22 meters forward and set the gain not, not too high. So we have this orange picture where the fish will, will be very bright yellow like this and be some small spots that look like fish, be some small, like these ones, for example. And the, and the way we've really been targeting the big perch is we don't want to find one perch and one perch and one perch very spread out. We want to find them concentrated because we, we really didn't find the success to to, to catch the fish uh, when they are alone. Uh, it, this, is, this is the fish, for example, swimming around. You can see the fish and you can see a big shadow behind it. Uh, so that's a fish swimming around, maybe a big perch. But uh, what we really want to do is find a group of perch standing quite near to each other because I think that the way we catch them is that we trigger an instinct in their mind like if, we, if one bait comes through the, the school of fish we can like trick them to take the bait because it's like having siblings if you are three siblings and have one piece of cake you want to get the cake first so they really trick the hunting instinct within themselves so that's been the key for us so we caught like all of our big fish has been caught that way that, that's really been, been the way to do it now that the other guys are coming in it's really bad weather so this has really been the key to success for us and then once again fishing slow 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 sometimes the boss bite have been the key but the, the, the carolina rig has has for sure been been the way to go carolina and jk slowly 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 so um, we're gonna go home let the fish get some peace and go spawn and then we'll just maybe see you guys next year in the netherlands